Hi everyone, this is Matt. We're continuing our series on interventional electrophysiology and today we're going to speak about the equipment that's used for an interventional electrophysiology study. First is the cardiac cath lab. The cardiac cath lab is a very high-tech environment that includes uh, equipment that is essentially x-ray equipment that is uh, most everywhere now digitalized such that images, still images, and also films can be taken during an interventional procedure including an interventional electrophysiology study. So this equipment permits the electrophysiologist once the patient is prepped and ready to have the study begin, uh, visualize the introduction of the catheters and whatever other instruments they need to introduce up into the heart in a controlled fashion such that it minimizes the risks of any types of complications. So, and now we'll look at the actual uh, positioning of the catheters in the heart and a few of the signals that are derived from these catheters. So, and then that will be it for today. So I'd like to thank Professor Klaus Schmidt from Das Herzzentrum in München, Deutschland. This is uh, work done by Professor Klaus Schmidt from the Heart Center in Munich, Germany. And this is an image from an electrophysiology study and these are four of the catheters that could possibly be used during a uh, mapping study, a diagnostic study. So just to give you a brief insight as to where these catheters are, uh, the HRA is the high right atrium the HBE is the His bundle. The CS is the coronary sinus. And the RVA is the right ventricular apex. If you look closely, and I will bring this image up really close, and we'll focus on the coronary sinus catheter. You will see from the tip of the catheter which is just beyond the S, going uh, downwards in the image, these almost light-like uh, areas, those are the electrodes. These electrodes have the ability, because of their metallic uh, composition, to detect electrical activity then that electrical activity is transmitted through the catheter to a computer system which the catheter is attached to. And then all the electrical activity of all the electrodes that are on all the catheters is presented on a screen that the electrophysiologist gets to evaluate. And now we'll look at those signals. And this is fascinating. This is what the electrophysiologist looks at during the study. We will not go into detail at this point about what these uh, signals indicate. But you can see, starting at the top, those are actually surface EKG signals just like uh, similar to those that you would have in the EKG at your doctor's office. And going down, and we won't look too much at the signals, we'll look more at the labels. You will see on these um, labels of the different electrical signals, HRA, and you will have a different signal for each electrode and we'll just go down. You see the coronary sinus, 
you see the right ventricular apex, etc. So anyways, that gives you a head start into what goes on in terms of equipment with an electrophysiology study, what you would see if you were present for an electrophysiology study in terms of catheter placement, and what type of electrical signals are generated from those catheters, electrodes, and the process of how the electrophysiologist looks at those signals and tries to determine what the source of the problem for the patient is. But essentially, I wanted to focus on the equipment that is the cath lab equipment and the catheters. There are more advanced 3D mapping systems and such that we'll go into much later in the series, but that at least gives you a head start on the equipment. Okay? Hope you have a great day. Take care.